I'm pretty sure we can all say that music is an extremely important part of our lives. The majority of us always listen to it while we're working, relaxing, playing games, or watching your favorite show. While music is subjective, everyone I've met loves the music of my life as a teenage robot. Especially with such an amazing theme song that's been a huge staple for the series. It definitely brings back a lot of memories that can hype you up. If that wasn't amazing enough already, during the special Escape from Cluster Prime, they made their own spin on the theme song to make it give a way more serious tone to the special. Five o'clock, get a call to go play. Overall, it's easy to see how much care was put into it. While the theme is undoubtedly great, there's much more music in the show. Using brief examples, I'm going to try my best to explain what makes the music in this show great. Throughout the show, during certain conversations, there is music that plays that's supposed to give a representation of what's going on during that part of the episode, or how a character is feeling. Other times, it can be dormant in the background when some characters are having conversations, my favorite example of this is during Brad and Jenny's fight in No Harmony with Melody. Oh no you don't! Jenny, have you lost your mind? It's for your own good, Brad. You're too close to this to see the evil master plan at work. The use of music in My Life as a Teenage Robot is very thought out and helps to give certain emotions the characters display to life. For example, usually there's an upbeat track that plays when the characters are having good moments or when there's a sense of innocence during that time. Other times, there's a loud, thunderous orchestra that plays when a character displays frustration. A great demonstration of this is when Sheldon approaches Jenny. You can hear violins building tension as his anger grows as he speaks. I've just spent 90 years of my life in outer space, and you call that normal?! When Jenny replies to Sheldon, the music changes to synths to represent her. The string's tension peaks as Sheldon says, I will never forgive you, and resolves to synths as Jenny hugs him. I will never forgive you! Oh, Sheldon, you haven't lost your sense of humor. In other instances, there will be intense music that gives off the current conflict going on in the episode, whether it be a battle with a villain to Jenny needing to save her friends from harm. A perfect example of this comes from Indestructible, in which Jenny rushes to the scene to stop Tuck from putting his life at risk by being a human basketball. This is the kind of track that has the audience at the edge of their seats. With an intense ascending synth melody and a fast-paced drum beat, the music surely sets the scene. Each hit, as Jenny makes a slam dunk, truly makes a statement. Certain characters in the show even have their own unique themes that they're usually accompanied by when they appear on screen or when they're up to no good. One of the most recognizable examples of this is the Crust Cousins theme, which is usually heard when they make their appearance in Tremerton or when they're up to no good. This kind of theme is cold, calculated, and smooth, just like the Crust Cousins. It's intimidating, but not super threatening. I think it's similar to elevator music, in a way, because when you're in an elevator, you just want to get to your floor. When you're near the Crust Cousins, you just want them to go away. Overall, the show has some great tunes and has its own distinct style to give life to how Tremerton and how the show itself is. Sadly, there isn't really anywhere to hear much of the soundtrack of My Life as a Teenage Robot because there weren't any official releases and because of the show's obscurity, we might not get an official release of the soundtrack anytime soon. But don't let that get you down, because there are some fan-made compositions from those working on the reboot team. Most notably, the Unhappy Orchestra. Some examples of their work is their own theme made for Scruffles the Lab Rat, a mini-boss theme, and if any of you have watched the fourth casting call for MLA TR Rebooted, 
you've definitely heard their theme for Kilgore. This track contains a villainous bassline and is loaded with percussion. This rendition is extraordinary. It managed to capture Kilgore's evil nature and silliness at the same time. This composition is just wonderful. If you don't think you've heard any of their work, you're actually wrong. We've been playing their music in the background throughout this entire video. Check them out. Their links are in the description below. They sound really close to the original soundtrack of the show, and I personally cannot wait to see what else the rebooted team has in store in terms of more music. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm sure they're working very hard on it. Even though the soundtrack of the show isn't talked about much anymore, we should still remember how great it is. But what are your thoughts about how the soundtrack was used in the show? What other topics would you like to cover about the show? Be sure to tell us in the comments below. If you want to talk more about the show and meet other My Life as a Teenage Robot fans, check out our Discord. It's the most active part of our community to date. I've been your narrator, YoshiFan2010. Thanks for watching! watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description. You're too close to this to see the evil master plan at work. Worn out places, worn out faces